What's up, guys? It's John John again. Um, <coughs> real fast, let me say, I'm kind of recovering from a cold. So if I'm coughing a little bit today, uh, I'm very sorry about that. But I did um, want to uh, say thank you for watching today. And I wanted to talk about several things today. I want to kind of really just jump right into it. First thing I want to talk about is what I am doing right now. You may be asking, <coughs> excuse me, why am I in the middle of a lava infested world behind glass? And why are there two wither health bars on my screen? Well, the answer to those questions is that I am now starting a new series called, say it with me, Extreme Living. And so the way this works is there will be several different challenges uh, per episode that I will do that will um, be posted here, and there'll be 20 minute challenges a piece. And so on during the 20 minutes, I'm gonna have to try to accomplish these challenges. And so I'm gonna post these videos, whether or not I do accomplish the challenge. So if I beat it, I'm gonna show you. And if I lose the challenge, y'all will we'll still show you. And so I've, I've got good self-esteem. I'm not going to need to win all the time to make me feel good about myself. You know, that's just not how I roll. So anyway, um, this challenge specifically is I had to start in the middle of a lava place and dig my way out with no tools and three, actually, withers that are going to be flying around the world. With that being said, I have to get out of the lava, up a very tall tower, and get the gear that I need, so armor, potions, weapons, etc. Get those things and take down at least one of the withers all in 25 minutes. So today we're going to see if I can do that. Now again, let me say um, I am not actually recording this audio live with the video. I am actually watching this just like you are and I am recording over top of it. Um, and I, I don't necessarily like that too much, but it's the best I can do right now. Uh, so please bear with me. Also, excuse how dark that screen is. There's not a whole lot I can do about that with the current programs I'm running. They're not super high-quality programs because I'm just now getting my feet wet and all this. But hopefully it's going to be good enough for you guys. So with that being said, I also wanted to talk about another thing concerning series. Is that a word? Series? Is, multiple series? Whatever. I mentioned in my last episode, the world tour, that I'm going to be having an ongoing series and it's going to be my world. And so the gist of that series is, is I'm going to be posting videos on my personal world consistently, regardless of any other series that I do. So if I do this Extreme Living series, I post another series, uh, a couple more different ones, I am still going to post videos for my uh, home world series and keep that going so you guys can see how you know, my personal world is advancing and all that good stuff. And so that's just kind of a FYI thing. Um, with that being said, I want to jump right into some questions that I have today, uh, some different topics I want to talk about. And the first one is an argument that I had yesterday with somebody. And I wouldn't really call it an argument because I didn't really, like, I wasn't rude. And I know you would probably say, well, you would think that because you're defending yourself. But the reality is I was not disrespectful to this person, but they were very disrespectful to me. And so I'm not going to give the exact details of the conversation away or talk or tell you who I spoke with, but it was a friend of mine, I guess you can call him a friend, it's more of an acquaintance, and um, it was concerning a sp actually a spiritual debate, and so I am, as I mentioned last episode, a Christian, I believe in uh, uh, I'm walking and living for Jesus, making him the Lord of your life, and whether or not you agree with me, that's, that's, that's me, and so I obviously, with that being said, believe that everyone should have a personal relationship with Jesus. But I don't force that on anyone. Because first of all, it's not going to work. If you don't want him, then you're not going to get it. And I can't force anybody to serve him. And the second reason is, because though I'm supposed to comp you know, share my faith with others, if they reject it, you can actually become, um, get yourself in the wrong by trying to keep on being rude. I'm not saying you don't keep talking to him about it, but you, by being rude and, you know, forcing your opinion on somebody. That's not how that's, you're supposed to approach that subject. And so I'm having a spiritual conversation with an acquaintance of mine. They're not really a friend because they pretty much condemned me um, to hell. So I guess you can't call those kind of people friends. Um, but this person's talking to me, 
and it was about a very important subject in my life that, again, I'm not going to mention. And I could tell they were a little, um, there was some animosity in their personal life with that subject. So I'm like, hey, what are your thoughts on this? Because I was curious. And they told me what their thoughts were, and boy, did they ever. They went on to say that if you believe in this, then you are going to hell, all these different things, and all, just crazy craziness that they were talking to me about and being very disrespectful and taking my thoughts and opinions personally and mocking my belief on this and it's not the fact that they believed differently than I did that bothered me it was the fact that they were rude about their beliefs and insulted mine and the long and short of it the reason why I bring this up to you is that regardless of what someone believes or how they feel about anything, a certain situation, uh, an opinion, a belief, whatever. Being rude, first of all, is not the way to approach any subject or any situation ever. So it's never okay to be rude. And the second thing is, it's not going to change their opinion. And so, just wanted to take this moment, not to sound cliche or be like, everybody be nice, but don't. It, being rude is not going to help anything. Whether or not you agree with me on, you know, something, or you agree with someone else, being rude, first of all, is not going to change their opinion. And number two, um, it, it just really hurts that other person. And so be nice. Be, be respectful of each other. But that's enough with the serious stuff. Just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Another thing that I wanted to talk about, now this is completely changing gears, all right, from the, the very deep, dramatic discussions. But uh, the, another thing I wanted to talk about was my favorite video game or games and the hardest video games I've ever played and so this is a complete culture shock from the last conversation topic but let's go with it favorite video game I've ever played has to be probably Minecraft I don't see how it can't be my favorite I've been playing this game since I was about 15 years old and I'm getting ready to turn 20 uh, next month so I've been playing this game for a long time, and it all started one day. I was at church, and my buddy was playing uh, the Pocket Edition version. I was like, hey, what's that, man? So he showed me, and I was like, that looks like a blast. So I played it for a good 30 minutes on his phone to the point he was obviously like wanting me to give his phone back, but I wasn't having that because I wanted to keep playing. So I'm playing Pocket Edition, fell in love with the game. Long story short, 16th birthday, um, it's actually kind of a funny story. My gram great grandma died um, a few days before my 16th birthday, and on my 16th birthday was the funeral. So we had to go, and I had to be a pallbearer for her, my great grandma's funeral. And I'll, let me stop for a second. You see that I did not beat this challenge, by the way. So just that is proof that if I do not beat the challenge, I will still post the video. But let me get back to what I was saying. Hopefully, also, one if I lose or don't beat a challenge. Um, I'm still going to make the video interesting. So if you see like me lose a challenge halfway through a video, don't log out because there's still going to be other stuff that we're going to do. But back to my great grandma. She died. I'm pallbearing on my on her on my 16th birthday. So we stayed the night with my aunt and then the next day we all got up and we went to the um, the funeral which was in another state than where I lived. So it was about a four-hour drive, maybe. It was maybe more. I don't know. It was a long drive. And I played Minecraft Pocket Edition. I got it that morning for my birthday. I played that game the entire ride down. That was a long road trip. And I played it the whole time. And ever since then, I've liked Minecraft. And so I have Pocket Edition. Uh, my brother has Xbox version for 360, and I um, have the computer version, which is what I'm doing now. And it has to be my favorite video game. Minecraft in general, but specifically the computer version uh, for PC. Um, that is definitely my favorite video game. Um, as far as Pocket Edition, Pocket Edition is really fun. And I think it's cool to be able to play Minecraft wherever you want. And so I enjoy that. And so that's cool. And... Xbox is cool too. I like the texture packs and different things like that. But it's harder for me at least um, to control it. 
to operate with the controls and stuff like that. It takes me a longer time to build things. And I just, I don't like it as much. So, I, I mean, I, I play it, and I play it with my brother and stuff. But it's more of his thing, not mine. So, I, I stick to PC most of the time. So, PC, Minecraft, favorite game. Concerning hardest games, Minecraft can be hard. And I think, depending on how hard you make it on yourself, it can be one of the hardest games. But at the same time, I've played games that were significantly harder. And one, actually, was a game that I was um, beat uh, today in just a few hours. I got it, uh, I played it, and I beat it. Or at least the, the, you know, the main campaign on it. And it was called The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers for Xbox Original. And I had this game years and years and years ago when I was, I guess I was 12 years old or so. And I would play the game, and it was totally just a blast. Like, I would play and have a great time. So I saw it and I was like, hey, I want to buy this. So I bought it, played it, beat it today. But there was one board that I think was designed by Satan. I don't know if these game makers just wanted to frustrate everyone or whatever was going on, but this board is hard. And so I don't know how much you know about the Lord of the Rings and all that stuff, the different characters. But they, in the second one, they went to, Rohan went to um, the place... Uh, it's called Helm's Deep, and so basically it's a giant, like, huge stronghold where they go if they get in trouble. And so they were in trouble, and so they, they took everybody to Helm's Deep, and then they fight the orcs from the top of the wall. So the orcs come to the walls and try to bring ladders and stuff, and then they knock the ladders off and shoot the orcs. So at first it looks like, hey, this is going pretty good, but then the orcs summon, like, spawns of Satan to be like a suicide squad. And they went in, and they um, sent these orcs or whatever and blew up the wall. So they strapped bombs to their back and blew up the wall. And so that is where I'm at on the board, um, or on the game, that was really hard. And so they, they sent in these these orcs with bombs on their back, and you have to shoot them and blow them up, or else they'll get to you and blow up right next to you, which takes away like 70% of your health. And so I'm doing that, and at first it's pretty easy. I'm playing as Legolas blowing these guys up is fine. You have to defend this door, but I would stand behind the door and then shoot the, the orcs that came through the gate. It's pretty easy. But then it gets to the point they send in trolls, and they send in these other uh, mobs, or not, well, it's not mobs, it's, that's Minecraft, but they send in these other villains or whatever, and you have to fight them, and they're so, so hard. And it took me so many times today trying to beat that board, and I finally did, but that is one of the hardest boards of any video game I have ever played. And so that is one of the hardest games I've ever played. Lord of the Rings and Two Towers for Xbox Original. Another one was for the Nintendo GameCube. And it was called uh, Super Mario Sunshine. And it's not that the game itself was hard, but it was that some of the boards were like, like you want to punch puppies hard. And one in particular, um, was the sandbird and what the sandbird was is it's where it takes away the best tool that you have on the game which is like this talking water sprayer that can make you fly it can shoot you like a rocket it can turn into like a jet ski that can you can like drive really fast and you have you lose your sprayer and you have to climb this sandbird in the middle of the air and it flips and this like it's kind of hard to explain but the way you have to jump is just not easy. And so when I was younger, I would play that board and get so frustrated because, like, if you know anything about Mario, the whole gist of the game is, like, you have to collect coins. And so I'm trying to collect these coins, and it's super hard to get because the bird is going all topsy-turvy on me. And so that that's another hard game. Uh, another hard game that was, like, irritated me beyond measure was called Splinter Cell, um, 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 I forgot the name of it, but it was one of the Splinter Cells, and those games are really fun, I enjoy playing those, but this one, it was weird, because at first it was super easy, or, you know, I mean, it wasn't, well, I don't want to say it like that, it wasn't like, uh, like a cakewalk, but it was easy enough, and I was pretty young when I was playing it, so, I mean, it was, you know, good enough for me to play, easy enough for me to play, and so, I'm playing this game, and I get to this board, and what happened was, like, it's Splinter Cell, so you don't have a whole lot of, like, ammo, because you're not shooting a whole lot, 
It's more of like you want to break in and be like a spy and like shoot a poison dart at somebody's head and kill them that way. As opposed to going in like Call of Duty and just blowing everybody up. So I go in and I'm in this place and I ran out of bullets for my gun. And then I was caught and the alarm was sound. So even though I would hide, they were still looking for me and I had no way to defeat them. And so I am just hiding out. I remember this as a kid. Hiding out in the shadows. Being ticked off. Because it became came to the point that I now could not beat that board. And thus I restarted it. So I'd have to kill myself. Which seemed counterintuitive to what I was trying to do in the first place. And so I can't beat the board. Because I lost all my ammo. And so now you're... You have to kill yourself. And it was so frustrating on, back in the day. And I still to this day have not beat that board. Now, it's been years since I've played that game. But I haven't beat that board. And so that game was also one of the hardest I've ever played. So favorite game, Minecraft, hardest games would be Lord of the Rings Two Towers, Super Mario Sunshine, and uh, Splinter Cell, whatever that game was. I I'll try to maybe mention it next video uh, so I can just kind of clear it up let you guys know which game I'm talking about in case you want to try to beat the board that I did horrible at. But those are the hardest games. Uh, moving on to movies now. I wanted to talk about that. My favorite movies. That is a hard question. Because I really, really, really like movies. Like a lot. And so... I think I'm going to have to just give a bunch of different ones, and just that'll have to be okay. So, my favorite movies. The Lord of the Rings series is very hard to beat. The first three, and then the last uh, three or four, um, whatever they, I don't remember the number, but for The Hobbit, those movies are incredible. I remember watching those as a kid. And I really, really enjoy them. And so I like those a lot. I also really like um, uh, I Am Legend and World War Z. Those are cool. And also I like watching, um, I actually watched this Wednesday night, but it was I Frankenstein. And that movie, oh my gosh, like that that's just great. And so yeah, I would definitely recommend to check that one out. It's kind of violent, so if you're younger, maybe have your parents watch it with you. Because uh, it is it is pretty violent. But it is a really, really the premise of it is that Frankenstein is like has no soul and the angels and demons are fighting over him and eventually it ends up that he has a soul and that's kind of a spoiler I guess but not not really so it's, it's pretty cool um, but yeah I like that movie so let me go ahead and change gears real fast gotta close this video out here in about a minute so let me say this thank you for watching uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to keep posting them um, and hopefully have even better quality videos coming soon. Um, hopefully you're enjoying them. If you see this, feel free to recommend this to other people because I'm just getting started and I appreciate you repping the videos if you wouldn't mind. So feel free to recommend them. Um, also feel free to like and uh, subscribe to my channel. And also uh, please give me some you know topics to talk about because right at the, you know, at the moment I can't really... Um, do like a live recording of my audio with the video so give me some topics to talk about while we we watch the videos and different things give me some ideas for challenges um, just anything you got just send it my way and uh, I'd love to check it out and I'll read all the comments and hopefully reply to them if I can so thank you for watching today uh, hopefully you enjoyed it next time I'll try to make sure that I actually do beat the challenge um, so I'll try to make it a little easier on myself but it'll be good so I just pray that I win next time but thank you again for watching uh, we'll see you next time. All right, guys. Holla.